So are you here to shoot or to work? I don't know, man. I'm doing both. <laughs> Shooting and working. That's the thing. It's a good gig. Well, because, you know, my job title changes over at Easton. What's your job title? Multitasking Ninja. It's my job <laughs> title. Won't fit on a business card yet, but it's going to be there soon enough. You guys know this guy. This is Isaac from Easton. We're at the Easton, what do they call this place? This is the Easton Archery Center. Archery Center. Check it out. We're in the indoor range. I don't know if you guys saw our video in here. We've we filmed in here before. We've also filmed outside. BMAC and I just both got our sight tapes on, so our 30 is close, and then we're gonna sight 40, 50, and then see how our slider is doing. Let me show you guys the new setup. You guys haven't seen my bow yet. Got the Hoyt Redworks RX1 Carbon, custom dipped in First Light Fusion, and I'm bringing back the old Disco Inferno arrows. Black gold sight. I don't mean to interrupt. But, uh, what, he's on his own vlog? Oh, dude. Oh, check it out, man. You guys inspired me. I'm going to start my own vlog. Like I said, I'm bringing back MySpace. MySpace. Bring it back. I'm going to put you in my top eight if you follow me. There you go. <laughs> we got the new Sony. That's nice. He Not only did he just get inspired, he outdid us, too, with the camera, potentially. I'm, not, I'm still trying to learn what aperture and all this other stuff means, but... Just put it on auto, baby. Yeah, put green. Auto. Auto. That's what we use, auto. YouTube, they said don't do that on YouTube. <laughs> I've watched six different YouTube videos and I have like eight different settings now. So still haven't figured it out yet, but That's awesome. we'll see. But this is actually Easton's camera. Is it? Yeah. There's my new bow. Just wanted to show you guys. Here's B Max. Went with the yellow fletchings. It's the old yeller back in back in the moment again. He's also got the black gold slider. He went four pin in there, so we'll show you guys that later. But we're here to do some fine tuning some sighting in really working hard to set my pins up my 30 whoa uh oh sorry about this there we go my 30 was a pain in the butt <laughs> like i don't know what the struggle was it's be like you're low all right lower it okay you're high now all right upper it anyways long story short 30s in when i moved to 40 and 50 they just went like that so i'm dialed in the 30 40 and the 50 is my slider B Max slider is the 60 pin. Yep. Because he did the four. Got one more. So I feel good now where I'm at too. So finally, I think these things are ready to go. <laughs> close enough. Close. <laughs> yeah. Very close. Yeah, so the first group I did after 50, I actually used the slider to make it to 60. That's the last um last shot group I did was at 60. But this is the sight tape out of the box, which it was super close. But I have found that 59. Like I was shooting right above the target. I set it to 59 and I got two on paper. Hey, got, <laughs> got it. He's in the paper. Well, we're going to shoot a group and uh, see what see where we're at. How far do you want to shoot? Uh, wherever you'd like to, man. That was a perfect I, shot. I decided while I was at Wild Arrow earlier that my eyes were horrible. I couldn't even see where my arrow was at 30 yards. So we got That's the good. vortex. All right, let's see how we can do at 50 yards. This is So Isaac is the, uh, the OG, original gangster of our local... <laughs> Mule deer archery hunting. I used to no, be having the two-hit wonder. <laughs> I've only killed two yeah. deer on the Wasatch Front. Two seasons in a row, it was like, who is this guy killing yes. giant bucks with his bow? But he claims that he's just been in retirement because he had kids in school and football, so he hasn't been to hunt much. And now he's saying, I'm, I'm back. ready. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So we'll see if he comes through this year and kills another big Are you on buck. 50? I'm on 50. Ooh, on paper. on paper, on paper. I don't care. Huh? He's on paper. That'll work. I'm down good. <laughs> <laughs> this court, this indoor range is so sweet. Dang, just low left of the paper. Yep. In the zone though? Yeah, in the zone. Kill an elk? Oh yeah, dead elk. You the bad boy? Yeah. Isaac, cameraman. Number one hole of a slider. Make sure you're always <laughs> slid to the correct so number. True. I've shot many arrows through my garage door at home because of that. You guys may remember Isaac if you came to the Hush Life movie or you watched our uh, series on New Mexico elk hunting. He and his family shared their story and uh, Helped us raise money for Primary Children's Hospital, which was awesome. So he's not only involved in the uh, the rifle hunt that we did with raising money for charity, but also a pretty good archer, I must add. 
On that note, for Primary Children's, my daughter's doctor actually came in the room and was blown away from the donations from the hunters and anglers that all participated. So we thank you all very much for, for your contribution to the Primary Children's Hospital. That was pretty cool. They were they were just blown away by the whole thing. So thank, thank everybody. So like a group of hunters that make YouTube videos and like <laughs> wants to donate a big check? What? Oh yeah, they were blown away. It was it was uh, pretty cool. I wish I could have been there when you guys were there. If they are, are you gonna uh, you can just move my target over? I don't care if we can move you can move this one back too if you want. Twenty five. Appreciate it. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up. Um, it felt good. That was paper. It felt good. It sound like e sound like you hit the paper. E Max not watching. I mean gotta spot it. <laughs> Alright, me and Isaac. Freaking team paper there right there. <laughs> there it is. Truth, guys. Not bad. Yeah, me and Isaac are shooting darts. Well, Eric's just trying to rob and admire over here. Hey, look, more penetration. Now, what are you <laughs> what are you learning there, Mr. Easton Arrow Man? So what I'm learning there, you have a shorter arrow because it's a shorter draw line. That is true. <laughs> that, that, that's got me before. I was like, dude, my arrows are sinking in deep. And other people are like, yeah, they really are. And then we're like, your arrows are super short. Hold up, hold up. Whoa. Dude, don't hurt yourself. These arrows do not come out easily. <laughs> yeah, teamwork. Oh, I got this one. Good job, guys. The last time I was here, I ended up with a blister on my hand. We had to borrow Jeremy's arrow puller. Not only did we borrow it, I stole it. <laughs> okay, guys, check this out. As you saw earlier, Isaac upgraded his vlogging capabilities with his Sony, but the cool thing about it is it shoots slow motion. What, 900 frames per second? Yeah, 960 frames per second, I think. Okay, we're gonna do some fun videos for you guys in slow motion, 960 frames per second. Get it all set up and show you what it looks like when you shoot a bow in, in pretty good slow motion. He already took one clip and it turned out really, really, really cool, so. We'll show you just how interesting it is to shoot a bow in slow motion. It's crazy how much flux you get out of like the string, even your quiver, the arrows like wobbling. Okay, <laughs> enjoy this next little montage, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that montage. Thank you for the Sony. Isaac, no pretty interesting. I haven't seen the clip, so you guys are gonna see him before I do, but pretty interesting to see, like BMAC said, the strings and the arrows and everything in slow motion like that. The whole bow just shimmies. That's why you never think about it, but when you slow it down, how much movement there is through the energy these things create. Like I said, I got this sight tape out of the box and we chronographed my bow at 262. 
263 is bouncing back and forth. So we actually used a sight tape that was designed for 262.5. Sounds perfect, right? I got my 50 set, which is my floater. The first time I dialed was 60, but I was shooting high, so I raised it to about 58 and it was on paper. So it's about two yards off. Then I tried to shoot 80 and was like, what, a foot high when I dialed it to 79. So something, the gapping is not right here. So what I'm trying to do is figure out exactly where my mark should be. And instead of relying on the paper, I'll uh, just put hash marks there with a pen or something once I get one. So my 70 yard pin, I'm guessing, is gonna be 67. That's my guess. So let's see where we're at. High. Still a little high? Yep. Let me get... That one's good. It's a little right? Just barely right. Perfect, right where your other one was. What was so crazy is, dude, when I drew back and looked in my peep, I'm like, it's on. Pull the trigger, it's on. Like, it was no settling, and that was that felt really good. This new uh, Carter release that Jeremiah got a set up with, I'm liking it. So before, if you guys ever watched my videos, a lot of people always say, Eric, you're slapping the trigger. It's because I had to reach for it. My tip of my finger was out here, and I'd be like, psh. So now I can actually hug that thing and use more of a back tension style release. So I'd say, yeah, like we're close, you know, 60. 67 is my 70 pin. Where are you at now? I'm gonna try 70 now. So you're going on your sight tape dead 70? Yeah. Okay. I haven't shot 70 yet. All right. Still a little low? Yeah, low right. Let's see if we can show you guys this one. Little left. More level, but left. It's starting to get tired. <laughs> Dude, we've been here for a while. It's starting to get tired, but it's still fun. It feels good when you finally get things set and you can have some confidence so when you do go to a 3D shoot or you're just practicing, you know that side tape's on, pins are on. Now just concentrate on your form. And like Eric said, these Carter releases, which for the record, we, we don't work with Carter. We just bought these, but they've been, uh, they're the quickies. They've been fun because they're much shorter mm -hmm. in your hand. So to Eric's point, trying to get better, just uh, relaxing your shooting hand, and then just pulling straight through it. It is an adjustment when you're used to slapping. Right there, just a little left, but right by the paper. Okay, shooting back to 70. So again, I'm gonna do like 66, 67 and see where I'm at. See that flint? <laughs> this thing, yeah, this release is different, man. It's it takes some practice, man. I'm like, go off already. Go off. Everyone's like, yeah, you just like put your pin on it and then you'll be surprised when it goes off. But I'm like, my pin's not always on it. How do you keep your pin on it all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it to go off when it's not on the pin. I think that's why I'm used to slapping it. I thought that was mine. <laughs> <laughs> Felt better, felt better. Let's check it out. And they're both on paper. After that flinch, that's called recovery. <laughs> recovery. I'm right on the paper. I'm at the bottom part of the paper. So my 70, if you guys look at this. So typically you'd want your pin to be at the 70. Again, this is a sight tape to style the box. And I'm more like a 66. I don't know if you want to be di getting dialed in to be in a contest. <laughs> He's getting micro in there. Look at that. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a, a 50 yard group. You're in it, by the way. Kyle's in it, although I'm, my early money's on him. I've been watching him shoot. His group, groups have been real tight. Let's we'll see if he can beat his uncle. Yep. Isaac speaks highly of his bloodline. My nephew? Yep. But you remember, if he wins, remember back when you used to race with your dad when you were little? Sometimes you would beat your dad. So maybe I'll, you know, may have to let Kyle win. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> it's we're gonna do a two-shot group <laughs> at 50 yards. The best two-shot group, clearly closest to the target or on the target wins. What do they win? Um a big bucket full of pride. 
That's what <laughs> a big bucket full of pride. I want a hat. All right, we got a hat on the line. Coming from the guy who has sent us no Eastern. Yeah, we have <laughs> zero Eastern hats. Got like two arrows. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, a little right, I think. We got BMAC on the Vortex. To the right. Just a little well, a little right. Shank. Left. Left. Oh, Ooh. dude, you just. You buckled under pressure. You guys feel that wind? Door, I did, right here. The door just. A boy's calling me. <laughs> okay, two shot group at 50. Heck, I wouldn't say you're out of it totally. He's got a good, he's got a dang good group. E, you want to shoot? Okay, here we go, 50. All right, so we showed you guys earlier my slider takes a little off, but my 50 is not. I'm guessing a total, total W right here. Hi? Hi. Hi, man. Left to the right. right. Just, just a bit outside. So, so who's winning so far, Isaac? Who's winning so far? Ooh, that's a tough one. Hard to, it's hard one to judge. I can't tell. I think maybe Eric. Here we go. Maybe Eric. Okay. So yeah, because Brian's up, so we're good. <laughs> Eric's winning. Yeah. I want to redo. Yeah, I got the tightest group, closest to the target, but that should be pretty easy to beat. Two hundred twenty thousand YouTube subscribers watching. <laughs> If you match that, it's game over. You guys had a good simultaneous. Ooh. Mm -hmm. We're both bummed. I mean, he's left, but he's close. Oh, that might have shanked it. Yeah, I went after one. I went after my arrow. Let's. Yeah. It's gonna be close. Let's go check. Take a look. I think everyone's ready to clear. Man, I don't clear. know. <laughs> See who got the tightest group. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Yeah, you got the tightest group. Dude. I think I think he wins. Yeah, but distance. The distance. Away? I don't know. It's a tough one. It was all about the groupness, the tightness of your two shots, but closest. And I swear the, this is the winner. Oh, whoa, dude. You trying to redo? Oh, going scoring. Okay, we're gonna redo. You are up first. Guys, we're going. Straight sudden death. One shot, sudden death. We'll make this real quick for you guys. Four shots, closest to the ten ring. Wins. That was pretty dang good. Nine ring. Ooh. Yeah, that's a ten ring. There's two in the ten. Yeah. You guys both get Easton hats. Congratulations. <laughs> Ooh, yellow red line. So you guys, so his pretty mental, much went. His mental, you, you wore me it out. wore me out. Wore me My out. shoulders. <laughs> Congratulations, you guys. You win an Easton hat. Isaac will supply you with one. Right on. Right. I wanted the hush hat. He wanted. All right, we'll get Isaac we'll a hush we'll hat. Get you a hat. I want a fusion hat. I want a fusion hat. Yeah, we'll get a fusion hat. Well, that was fun, guys. We hope you enjoyed the video. We had a great time here at the Easton Archery Center. This place is located out by the Salt Lake International Airport, and it is open to the public. Most people assume it's not, but this place, you can pay for a membership and you can come shoot yourself. It's awesome. Being in a closed environment at different yardages is a lot of fun to practice. Um, and then if you guys are around, come visit us up at Salt Lake. Total Archery Challenge at Snowbird. We're gonna be hanging out for the entire weekend, shooting some bows and just enjoying uh, good company at a really fun place. So come yep. say hi. Thanks guys, thanks Isaac. No problem, why shoot now? Okay. <laughs> you gotta add that, you gotta yeah. add that in the video. Oh. No problem.